Hello, this is Grinstar, and today I am going to answer the question, as a Bitwig user, why do you want Reason Plus? Uh, I say want and not need, uh, you know, various needs and stuff like that, but I'm going to try to sell you uh, on a want of this software. <laughs> uh, a little backstory, um, I've used Reason since I think about 2000, off and on, like like say I, 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 I had a copy of it back in 2000, did a tra played around with, with it, uh, made a track from it, and not touched it again until um, probably three years ago when I started doing uh, YouTube videos. Uh, it is one of the very first things I, I purchased uh, when it went on sale for the year, and I've been a customer ever since. So I've had it for a uh, subscription to Reason Plus for three years. Um, I've been, I, I've, I, I, I like the software a lot. It, it uh, um, impressed me for what it looked like and how it worked uh, back then, um, and, and it kept an impression on my mind ever since. Uh, so to say that I'm sort of a fanboy, I, I would say so. Um, I, I would probably qualify it as, is, is that I've already bought into it. Uh, it impressed me when I used it. And now I wanted to kind of convey the same things that I saw with you, uh, my viewers. Um, if you were a long time viewer, you can look back on my, on my channel, um, a couple years ago, a year ago, I think, uh, before I got into Bitwig and you will see nothing but recent videos. Uh, so, uh, I got a little bit of experience with it. Um, not by far a, a, a professional with it or a, a experienced user, but I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I've, you know, I've, I've used it. Um, so one of the first things about Reason that's really, really cool is it's, it's a rack. Uh, you can see the, the things in, the holes in here that you can actually slide in hardware to. Uh, they've, they, uh, kind of architected it or designed it to make it kind of, if you're coming from the analog world uh, back in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. This, this was something that you could actually probably use and understand. Um, so these are your, your devices that you can slide onto the rack, uh, your effects, the utilities, and then the players. And then down here has uh, the very first thing that I want to talk about, uh, about the cool thing about Reason and why you want it, is the sounds. Uh, there's uh, just literally tons of them. Uh, um, tons and tons and tons of them. Um, it, it's just, you, you, and that's just that. And then they got these, they got these, they got these. You get, you get all of this, um, as a part of Reason Plus, uh, uh, as, as a, as a part of the subscription, uh, that I know of. If you buy Reason 12 by itself, I have no clue what it comes with. I've never actually owned it, um, by itself. I've just been a subscriber to the service and, and it is... Uh, hands down, probably should have just given me all the sounds I've ever needed in my lifetime. Um, there, there is tons of them here, um, from basses to 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 all that, and uh, they're all built around the um, the devices. Bit low. Let me bring it up. Uh, this is a combinator. Uh, if you click on this, it'll show you actually what's in there, and and it's it's a bunch of devices, and literally you can do this with with every type of um, instrument that they have. You can see the instruments that make up uh, what they're doing. A lot of them are sampled. A lot of them have their their own. This is Mimic. It's sampler. So tons, tons, and tons and tons of of just mute uh, uh, sounds and mute. Sounds to make music with. Mm -hmm. 
And then not only does it have the, the sounds from here, but you can also open up any instrument. So let me let me close this. And then let's go to instruments and let's drag drag over the, the FM synthesizer algorithm. Um, and then they you can you can grab the 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 uh, patches that it has here. So it instantly goes from whatever you have to where the patches are. Otherwise, you can you can click here or you can click here. Uh, not only that, but if you don't like any of the, the stuff there or you don't find that interesting and you want to constantly get new uh, sounds, you can go to the Reason Companion and you can get instantly any sound that you hear on here for free as a part of the service. Um, there's, a, um, there's a ton of sounds in here that you can... And these are these are the, the um, things for patches. So once you download them, it goes into if I remember right here, um, and then you can open up the patches from there. And again, that's a combinator that makes up a whole bunch of instruments. And this one's starring the very new object uh, that just came out. I did a video on this not too long ago when it came out. Uh, very impressive with the, the amount of range of sounds it, it itself can get. Um, it, it, it's overall pretty cool. Um, so uh, let me let me close the combinator here. Okay, so that was part and partial. The the, the second part is its players. Uh, if you need some inspiration, uh, there are tons of MIDI tools and devices. Um, one of the one of the best ones uh, out there is is the baseline generator. So let me grab an instrument. Um, let me let me grab the the bass synthesizer just just because. That's good. Uh, so the baseline generator, you drag and drop, and like I said, this is like a rack. So basically, just use it. You know, you you think of it like a, a, a actual rack. And baseline generator, what it does is it d uh, does MIDI. you a baseline um pretty much instantly it, it, it's got it's got a ton of variation you just move this thing here and it generates a different and then you got uh move this and it generates the different baselines here these are the notes that are playing that you're hearing um you can you can mess around with the note length and the velocity and these court these colors correspond to the colors down here so these greens you're messing with the greens the blues you're messing with the blues if you're uh um, color, um, if you have problems with the, the uh, confusing the color, I'm not sure what you're seeing here, but there's green and blue to me. Um, that, that's just one thing. And then you got, um, like a beat map, which, which is, does random MIDI, it sends random MIDI out. More, more or less for for drum machines. So let's uh, let's go back here and let's grab a drum machine. Uh, let's do where's red drum? Or now yeah, this one will work. And players beat map. Already a fresh beat. It with little to no work or effort, and it just anywhere you click on the map, you you can you can get a different beat. Uh, what it does is it show it plays these four instruments depending on a lot of different factors of what you're doing on the map. There's actually different maps. That's cool. 
uh, again, there's uh, there's stuff like the chord sequencer. So let me grab, let's say, the Europa here. I'm probably pronouncing all this stuff wrong. Pretty cool MIDI tools that comes out of the box. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here that you can mess around with. Uh, the poly synthesizers, the pattern mutators. So if, if you have a pattern that you like um, with any of these MIDIs or something, you got a pattern in your MIDI that you want to rearrange or try to mess around with, you don't like the melody, this pattern mutator will take whatever it hears and, and then uh, mutate it, change it around. Um, so it's great for inspiration of trying to change around the same type of melody, but you need something else going with it, it helps. Um, so let's hit record. So it took it took the original thing that I heard and it messed around with it a little bit. Um, does really good with since this is chords, it, it's kind of different. It does really good with stuff that changes uh, the rhythm and the um, the notes around a bit. Um, overall, pretty good. And that's just the players. You got you got uh, instruments. You got an FM synthesizer. You got a, a semi modular. So let me take this out. Uh, you got a semi modular that uh, works really well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, this is a, a, a thing that, that breaks up uh, samples, uh, or, or play, it, it, basically it's a sample player, but it, it does it with uh, parts of a sample here, parts of the sample here, parts of the sample here, and then plays the, the, the loops, and it, it cuts, you can cut up the loop and play it. Um, overall pretty cool. You got your uh, shape-shifting synthesizer. Um, this is also a wavetable synthesizer. You got a uh, violin, or other types of instruments. Uh, granulizer, you take a sample, you granulize it. Get some really strange sounds from this. This is one of my favorite instruments, uh, hands down. Uh, cause it can create some pretty wild stuff. You got your, like I say, drum machine. Uh, you got layers, you got, you got, um, another mimic, the sampler that came out, I think a couple years ago. Uh, you got the, the advanced samplers. You got object that. Uh, yeah, let me delete. Object just came out. Uh, you want crazy? You can get parsec. This can produce some really crazy sounds. Uh, it has a whole bunch of stuff, and it does an AB generator. Which means that it can it can um, merge uh, um, more from one side to the other. Uh, you got piano players. Um, these three are here: process pianos, radical keys, and radical piano does a whole bunch of stuff. You got drum cut, drum kits. Oh, there's red drum. Uh, you you uh, Kong's too advanced for you. You can get a standard 808 drum machine right here. Uh, you press the buttons to what you want to hear, uh, and then just run it.
Ooh, easy. Um, you got scenic. This one's a really good one for producing sounds. It, it also does a morph between A B. Uh, you got you got Thor. Another synthesizer. Um, and then I think these are all add-ons uh, 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 that you can download and install. Um, and then once you find something that you like, you can mess with it with a ton of effects, creative effects. Like Alligator is a multi, multi, um, multi-frequency um, splitter that that creates rhythm from uh, instruments uh, through with uh, the highs, lows, and mids, and then it, it, it gates. It's also that's why it's a gator. It uses gates between it. And it doesn't it doesn't produce sound on its own, but it just takes it just takes the sound that's coming that's coming in and then morphs it or changes it. Does really good. Uh, and then you got the um, automatic, which is another one of my favorites because it. Plays mysterious and creepy music, or uh, uh, takes anything from the source and plays mysterious and creepy music with it. Phenomenal. Or if I want to hear a vinyl. You hear those cracks? I don't know if, if uh, my uh, uh, end processing is going to not take those out. I don't think it will. Pitch shifter. You want an auto tune? kinds of effects this thing can produce almost probably any sound that you want I love it uh, I love the the way that it looks like a rack as you can see um, all these components are together in a rack you could literally argue the same thing you can see the same thing here sideways um, but the more vertical type of stuff oh and uh, should have should have went with this uh, because it's the, probably the most mind-blowing thing boom the back end of this you can reroute and route anything any device on here um for even more creativity um it has it it is it has been a a modular routing system uh since day one as far as i remember uh, at least when i used it back back in the early 2000s um and it is the most mind-blowing its concept it, it 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 looks feels works like a rack um it is it is pretty cool um, so that's, that's my spiel. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, it got you interested into it. Um, there are like tons of more other things that you can do with it, but first and foremost, I wanted to answer the question of, as a Bitwig user, why is Reason Plus interesting to me? Um, and these are, these are the, just the, the among the reasons why it's interesting. You could probably spend a year easy playing around with all the stuff that's in here, uh, and getting better at it because I have, um, it is it is a pretty cool little setup. 
Um, and and this is just the the plug-in instrument alone, let alone uh, the actual DAW itself. Um, also pretty cool. Um, and like I said, I, I've done a year uh, of videos on it, so um, got a lot of stuff in the in in history on playing around with all these devices and and got different videos on them and so on and so forth. So anyway, hope you like the hope you like the video. Hope you like the channel. Hope you like the video. Hope you love the channel. Uh. <laughs> Um, let me know in the comments if, uh, if this had interested you or changed your mind about Reason Plus. Um, I would love to hear it. Um, I, 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 I like it. Uh, I love it. Actually, I've, like I said, it's my third year subscribing to it. Uh, it can be affordable, uh, to a degree. Um, if you wait on sale at Plug and Boutique, uh, I've gotten this year for, I think, $80 a year. Um, and then I just keep on getting it on sale because it, it goes on sale every year. Um, Black Fridays, uh, there's something in May that usually goes on sale. There was something in June that it went on sale. Um, overall, it's, it's kind of hard, uh, kind of not hard to, to, to buy it at full price, or kind of hard to buy it, let me say it this way. Um, if you wait on the sale, it would be worth your, probably well worth the money that you're putting into it and investing into it, um, at least for a year. Um, you could, you could probably stop it and then just walk away, but overall you're going to, you're going to probably get some use out of it, um, ultimately and, and hopefully get your money's worth out of it. Um, um, been, uh, been, uh, been liking it so far. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you've been this, uh, if you, if you're still listening, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, we'll see you in the next video.